In this episode of Did You Know, we're going to look at how to set the URL for your environment so you don't get one of the generated ones like org12376594. So I'm going to go ahead and go to New, Create a New Environment. We'll just call this my video demo, and we'll leave it as Sandbox United States, and we'll say we want to create a database. And this is where the real magic happens. By default, if you don't do anything in the URL, in other words, you just take the defaults on all these, which a lot of people do, you'll end up with a generated name. I always recommend picking one that you're comfortable remembering because it makes it easier to do things like Power BI or HTTP Actions in Flow. It's just easier if you have a more meaningful name than something like org123456767. So when you click on that, it'll let you put in the first part of the URL. The rest of it's going to default to crm.dynamics.com or CRM4, depending on the region you're in, that it's going to have a number after it. And that you can't control, but you can control the first part. And you'll notice that if you pick one that is in use already, so like if I just pick V, it's going to tell me that it's an invalid video. Let's see if video is available. That's a pretty good one. I should hang on to that. Nope, that one's not available, so it'll tell me that it's video is already in use. So we could try video demo. And that is the only downside of picking your own custom URL. You do have to be a little creative to come up with something that is not in use. It will tell you if something's in use and you just have to pick something that is unique. And that's how easy it is to pick your own custom URL.